We're here with um, Italy's Emmanuel Himeje coming off the men's triple jump. Um, you finished fifth place. Um, I think it's a, a good performance relatively, um, but talk to me about how you felt. So uh, it was a little bit complicated at the beginning because I was trying to find my rhythm, uh, but try to keep my head on, be focused, and pays off at the last jump. Uh, I uh, gained a place from 6th to 5th. So I finished this championship 5th in the world. There's a lot of positivity uh, compared from last year at the Olympics. So now I'm really ambitious for the future that is coming. Can you talk to me about your preparation coming into this year? Um, you know, because you won NCAA indoors and then I think you came second place outdoors. Um, but what was the preparation like coming into these world championships? So, uh, me and my coach, uh, we decided last year to go to the Olympics, try to gain as much experience because the following year, which is this year, we'll have aimed for, uh, for the podium, you know. And um, so the main goal was to peak at this championship. And I actually uh, PR'd, uh, I, I PR'd my, on my last jump from to 17, 17. And uh, yeah, I won uh, nationals, uh, NCAA, indoors. Uh, I knew I would have not picked outdoors, but I got second with a season best and got here, got my PR. So a lot of positivity. And what does it mean to you to get a personal best in the triple jump uh, through everything that you've come to leading up to here? Uh, it means that all the work that I'm doing is paying off, you know, uh, and gives me a, 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 a lot of motivation for next year and ambitious. Made ambitious. And then uh, you compete for the University of Oregon. And so being here, you know, this is kind of your home track, right? What does that mean, the World Championships being here? I mean... It's a lifetime experience, you know, to see the best in the world uh, to come at your place where you practice and you live basically every day. And I make use of this as my advantage. Um, I always feel the love from the fans, the Oregon fans. Uh, my Italian uh, teammates were also showing love. So they helped me to uh, finish fifth in this championship. And then, of course, you know, you're born and raised in Italy, but you do have some Nigerian roots. Can you talk to me about, you know, your background and your connection to Nigeria? So both my parents are Igbo from Imo State. And, of course, growing up, they always they did a really good job in teaching me, like, the language. Uh, we were always going to Nigerian Igbo parties, uh, meetings. So, so yeah, I, I'm really proud to say that I'm an Igbo man. <laughs> So can you give a shout out to um, both your Italian fans? Can you give a shout out to them? Um, and then also, can you also give a shout out to your Nigerian fans, your Igbo fans? A tutti i miei amici e supporters italiani, grazie per il vostro sostegno e ce la metterò tutta nel prossimo futuro. For my Nigerian and Igbo community, Igbo Queen, Queen, on one question. So, aham mucebuka. Chukwe Buka and the Una Bali Allah Maki Nerem the all supports and any so Unu Unu Lequanya Maka the future Amabia Unu Lequanya Amabia Wonderful. Well, great job. Set that personal best. Got fifth place in the world. Looking forward to you know what's next. Yeah, so already in three, four weeks. I got the European Championships, uh, looking the scoreboard, I'm seeing myself in the podium. So I got to keep myself focused to the end of the season because it can really pay it off. But uh, yeah, next year, it's another year we're starting afresh. We still have the World Championships, so keep an eye on me. Yeah. Emmanuel, great job. Looking forward to it. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. You can do your pitching shout out. Okay. To all my Nigerian community, I beg no verse. I got fifth. Next time, please watch me. Watch me.